guys, this is Cole with New Horizons RV. I've got a new product I'm really excited to share with you today. This is our 2016 Summit 39 front bath layout. Um, you may have noticed just now, I actually walked into the slide room here. A very unique uh, floor plan that really, really opens up the space in here. Got a really nice set of steps that we'll show you here in a little bit as well that makes that possible. Some features I want to show you here today, uh, we've got the island kitchen layout, nice big island with lots of storage for you, uh, real important for full timers of course, lots and lots of storage. Um, one of the really, really big items though on this main stage floor here is this half bath. Um, toilet, sink, little medicine cabinet in here. Uh, for your guests that you don't want coming through your bedroom to your main bathroom, got a nice little space down here for them. Or if you just want to save your knees every time you need to use the bathroom, you don't have to crawl up the steps. And again, here next to the bathroom, you know, storage is always important. Nice big broom closets, our control center, slide controls, awning controls generator, solar, inverter, all those kind of things, battery monitors. We're going to get in this area so they're hidden when you're not using them, but easy to get to. Uh, if you want to follow me around, we'll talk some more kitchen. Uh, I've got a Samsung stainless steel residential refrigerator here. It's 18 cubic feet. Be able to take lots of stuff with you. Got our, our show water here with me today. Um, Actually, Greg, I don't know if you can see from this angle here, got a nice big pantry. This is just one of two pantries. This one features adjustable shelving. And this other pantry I'm about to show you is actually pull out drawers here. So we know how important pantries are for you out on the road. Nice good glides on them. And then a really cool feature with this pantry just a little extra counter space. This counter space is important for a kitchen. A little cutting board, just a place to set things when you're needing it. Just a little hidden gem here. Uh, cooking utilities. Standard equipment, we're using a Thetford uh, gas on glass two burner cooktop. Got a convection microwave oven by Whirlpool. This is standard equipment. We also can offer a RV um, oven for you. Um, this one has the uh, cooktop cover. Uh, we can also just install it flush, uh, but this does give you a little extra counter space when you're not using it. Do you want to show us how that works? Yeah. Now? I've only done this once, so. <laughs> See how good I am at my own product. So that gives you some counter space, and if you put it on when it's still hot, got the vents cut into it just in case. But, um, yeah, since you're back here, Greg, I want to show you some more drawers. We, in the Summit series, uh, we still feature the dovetail joint drawers, soft closed drawer glides, lots and lots and lots of storage. All through here. Um, oh, whoops. Pass through storage under the sink. There are doors on the other side that are uh, accessible as well. Uh, if you like dishwashers out on the road, we can put them here on the end of the island. Uh, just kind of depends on what you're after in the unit. So, again, our Summit line, uh, it's brand new in 2016. It's built with every bit of infrastructure qualities or Majestic line. Um, we've got the floor plans set, so you can't necessarily change them. We can do customizations inside of the footprint but some of the savings that we're passing on to you is our engineering time. So we've got the, the floor plans already put together. So if you wanna come around the corner here, talk about the entertainment center. Our summit line, we were building with the 50 inch Samsung TV standard equipment, Samsung sound bar, standard equipment. Um, it's a nice little unit, but we've given you plenty of space if you chose to go out in the market and find the latest, greatest sound bar, you can, spend upwards of 1500 bucks in a heartbeat on that kind of equipment. Fireplaces are optional. Um, we're putting them in a majority of our builds. Um, 
Without it, you'd have some cabinetry here in this space for extra storage. Uh, sleeper sofa, standard equipment, and then our theater seating uh, here in this part of the slide room, standard equipment as well. Um, oh, one last thing with this floor plan here. Right as you walk in, so you don't have to walk across the trailer uh, to hang coats. We've got storage here, some more shelving down here. Um, just storage as much as possible for you. So here in our dining area, uh, we've got two chairs standard. We also have two folding chairs that we give you standard equipment. They are currently located under the bed in storage. Um, most of our customers, it's just the two of them a lot of times, but when you have company over, it's nice to be able to fit them around here. We do have a 12 inch leaf that'll go into this table. Um, it is freestanding, so you can move it around. We don't have to bolt it down to travel around with these uh, with these units. Also, since we're in the area, I want to show you the roller shades. Uh, new for the Summit, we have simplified the look of the window treatments. Uh, in the Majestic, we still do what we call the lambrequins, the legs that come down the sides, but this just gives a little more um, open feel, just a little wood casing around it. Um, premium roller shades on here, uh, Irvine Shade is who we're using right now, um, very nice company to work with, and one of the things we really like about these new shades is how user friendly they are to adjust if tension issues arise down the road. So, um, Lighting through the Summit line, I've uh, got a lot of indirect lighting up in the crown mold. Um, that is an option. If you wanted to simplify it and have less electrical, we can leave those uh, out of your build. Um, but what we've done in this unit, we've got a firefly system with two points of use here at the entry door and one up in the bedroom. And then some smaller areas that are just rocker panel switches uh, just to control in that area for you. One of the things I really like about the Firefly system is this light master button. Uh, you're able to turn all the lights off that are connected to the Firefly system, the press of a button, and likewise turn them on when you enter the trailer. Um, nighttime, if you don't want the blue, back, blue backlight turned on, pressing the panel button fades it on and off. So you can have the built-in night light turned off. Um, other lights like the sconces, the dinette area, uh, we do have on the rocker panel, so they're off the Firefly system. Right, next, I'd like to take you up to the bedroom, show you some features up here. So this, this bedroom features two slide rooms. Uh, I've got the queen bed with end tables. We can option in a king bed for you. We've got a lot of storage in this bedroom. Uh, from over the bed to this area here with the sliding doors. Um, huge bank of drawers over here. The adjustable TV in the corner for you. And then at the foot of the bed, we've got, uh, just like in our Majestic series, the same cabinetry. Lots of drawers. Full extension, soft close, drawer glides. You can double this up as either hanging with a dowel rod or we can give you a shelf in here. If you need to get away from company and set your laptop up, you can use this as a little makeshift desk. Um, not something you want to spend two hours at preparing taxes, but it gives you a space to, to get away from company if you need it. We decided the bedroom, or excuse me, the half bathroom did not need to be nine feet tall. Uh, so we put a ceiling in it and then finish this area off for extra storage. Um, you can do seasonal decorations or just anything you don't need to get to very often in the back. And here towards the front, I mean, you could have stuff you needed every day in. We also have a set of doors that are accessible from the living space. Uh, the kitchen area on the other side of this. I'll leave that light on. 
Um, also, like always, we feature really nice under bed storage. Got our folding chairs in here. Um, some show goodies that we've just left under here, but lots of space to get things under the bed. Another thing at New Horizons that we work really hard at is keeping heat ducts out of your floor and out of your main traffic area. Uh, here you notice we've got it built into the base of the cabinet. Um, up in the bathroom we also have it built into the base of the cabinet uh, just to keep it, you know, from gathering lots of goodies when grandkids drop Cheetos down into the grate. Um, also our air conditioning. Uh, new for 2016, we've gone to a single row ducting system that's really quieted things down and the airflow is phenomenal. Both air conditioners feed the same uh, air conditioning duct and uh, you can run them separately. Living room will push air up to the bedroom and the bathroom. Likewise, the bedroom air conditioner will push air back to the living space. So uh, it's been a really nice improvement for us. Um, Come on through to the bathroom, the very front of the rig, good sized vanity here, medicine cabinet, lots of storage, more storage over here, of course drawers, um, got the uh, macerating toilet so we can get back to the holding tanks here in the corner. Wardrobe closet here at the front of the unit, hanging from side to side. Uh, we also have a nice shelf over in this corner um, that kind of butts up next to the washer dryer closet that's up here. So I will switch spots here. So this unit is fully plumbed and prepped to do a stacked washer dryer here in the corner. So we've got the electrical and all the plumbing already in place. Um, without that, have some hanging space in here for more storage. Uh, our summit line features a 39 by 39 inch one piece fiberglass shower. Uh, I've got the the opaque glass so you can't see right through it which makes it handy to keep it clean. Um, the summit line we can put in skylights. Uh, they're an option. If you don't want any penetrations for a skylight in the roof we can leave that out but it gives you phenomenal natural light and for my taller customers it does make a little a little more headway. I'm only 5'11". This feels quite roomy for me so don't have to do what I joke T-Rex shower. In this shower we can get a nice turn around so hop out of the shower now. <laughs> And then another feature that we give you, um, and we actually wait until you pick up the unit during orientation, but towel bars, toilet paper holders, etc., um, we wait to put up with you um, there at the factory. So if we think it should go here and you think something else, we're going to do what you want because it's your unit. Um, we've got ideas of where they make a lot of sense, but at the end of the day, uh, we want to keep you happy and put things where you want them. All right. Well, should we head outside and take a peek at some exterior features? Uh, next, I want to show you some exterior features on our Summit line. Follow me over here. Just like on our Majestic series, we are going to give you a huge basement for storage. See through here, fully passed through. Nice and tall. Got your water manifold system, standard equipment on the summit. Further on this wall we have our central vacuum system which is an option. And then uh, the brain system for the Firefly multiplex lighting system. Over on that wall, we've got a whole house water filter. We've got storage that's passed through from the front of the unit as well. That is the traditional space for a generator. 
uh, here in a little bit, I will show you New Horizons exclusive uh, location for our generator mount. Really opens up the basement storage to not have to worry about fitting it in there. So, um, Greg, let's go around the front here. I want to show you some electrical features. Our breaker control panel, 50 amp breakers, sub panel. Everything is uh, labeled for you so you don't have to guess what's what. It's the 12 volt fuse panel. This one's kind of tough to get off. Yeah, my fingernail won't do it, but just uh, simple fuses for you. Everything's labeled there as well. And we've got slam latches in all these doors. Uh, it's our 12 volt lighting, um, all the fuses, all the wiring. Uh, I've got a whole house disconnect switch here. Then we also have a light in here if you're working out here at nighttime. Um, this unit with the Summit, or excuse me, this unit with the Samsung residential refrigerator, we have a refrigerator dedicated uh, 1000 watt inverter. Uh, to go to a whole house inverter, uh, we jump this up to the Magnum Energy 2812 whole house inverter. This option does just the refrigerator. All right, battery storage area. Standard equipment is two 12 volt deep cycle batteries. This area is big enough to fit six of the uh, Trojan T105 six volt batteries. Uh, we can also fit up to six of the AGM style uh, L16 batteries, the tall ones in here as well. So can can get a lot of batteries in this uh, this little setup for you. Oh, standard equipment on our Summit line, just like the Majestic, is the Bigfoot automatic leveling system. Uh, push of a button, auto level, front to back, side to side. Uh, manually, you can run everything up and down. Uh, we can even use this system to change tires, you know, lifting the rig up off the ground if you need to. So, really easy to use makes life much easier. Our propane storage, We've got two 40 pound bottles on a pull out tray. Summit equipment standard is 30 pound bottles. Uh, we've upgraded these to the 40s. Uh, they feature a built in gauge, of course an automatic transfer. And here's access to the other side of the storage bay get to the water filter to change that out easy. And there is uh, ample space in there to upgrade to two and three stage uh, filters and softeners. And um, I know you've seen Jack's videos. There's a lot of things we can do for that. Okay, in this space, we have your uh, exterior satellite control, water hookup for city fill, black water, gray water drain systems, and then fresh water for the tank. Uh, the Summit, just like the Majestic, features 70 gallon black, 70 gallon gray water, and 100 gallon fresh water capacities. The sewer dump area, you can get all of our hoses stored in here. Then we've got the sewer valve just below the skirting that you can leave hooked up, and then bring this door back closed to keep it locked up. little feature that we do with our residential fridges to get to them easier. We do install a cargo door for you to get to the ice maker line and the, the power plug. Otherwise it can be quite difficult to reach. So here we got the back side of the Samsung fridge, electric, uh, and then the water lines tucked around this corner for the ice maker. New Horizons, uh, a few years ago, with the assistance of one of our customers, started building our generator mounts 
here behind the axles between the frame rails. Um, putting the generator back here does a couple things for us. Opens up the storage up front and it can actually take a nice little chunk of weight off of the pin. Um, for anybody hauling with an HDT pin weight, not a big deal, uh, but that extra storage up front will go a long ways for you. When we do a generator back here, we do enclose it. Uh, walls on the sides, access panel to the generator. Um, some other things while we're down here, you can see the Bigfoot leveling leg, fully hydraulic, four points. Um, it'll lift this whole trailer up off the ground with zero issues. Spare tire uh, comes on the uh, aluminum rim, just like our standard tires, uh, so it doesn't have to look funny if you end up using it sometime. Well, while we're down here, might as well tell you about our suspension and axles. Just like our Majestic line, uh, we are giving you what we feel is the best in the industry, Moride IS suspension. Uh, this unit at 39 feet features three 7,000 pound axles, 16 inch aluminum rims with Goodyear G-rated tires. Uh, when we go to 40 foot and above, uh, we jump that up to 8K axles and 17 and a half inch rims with Goodyear H-rated tires. Uh, we look really closely at the engineering to make sure we give you a good, safe cargo capacity for full timing, which we feel from customer input uh, is right around that 3,000 pound mark. Um, most of our units end up being three to 4,000 pounds of cargo capacity. Uh, exterior of the Summit feature a removable ladder just like on a Majestic line. Uh, dual pane frameless windows so we don't have any setback on the summit for windows. It's the same, you're gonna, same as you're going to get in the Majestic. Um, fiberglass roof standard just like we build on the Majestic line. Uh, fully walkable up there. Uh, really low maintenance. The caulking on the unit is really all you have to worry about. Uh, you don't have to treat the fiberglass you may want to scrub it every now and then just to get dust off of it, but uh, you don't have to to keep it up. Slide mechanisms on our units are fully hydraulic. Uh, it's got one hydraulic ram and that's located towards the front of the slide room, way up there. But it's got these arms that are a rack and pinion type gear to make the room run in and out at the same rate. Uh, something that we do just to go that extra mile we run our wiring in and out of our slide rams. That way you don't have the uh, cheap plastic flexible line that always breaks. We run it in and out with the slide room. Okay, these steps are really easy to use. Pull them up. Lock this into place. Lock this into place. Put these two feet down. You're good to go. Pull the feet out. Make sure they're locked out. And there you are. Bounce on them. That's nice too. <laughs> Saying I need to lose some weight? <laughs> Summit model, uh, we upgraded to the four color paint scheme on this unit. Uh, you may have also noticed we've got a completely new uh, graphic on the Summit line to differentiate from the Majestic. Okay, our awnings on the summit are electric awnings, uh, the Carefree Traveler. We can upgrade these to the Eclipse with the automatic retraction features if you'd like. Uh, new for this year, we've taken the awning light out of the awning uh, mechanism itself and mounted it to our sidewall. So it's usable whether the awning is out or in to be a nice patio light for you. So you notice this strip light here and then also up on this room as well. Our slide rooms are all hydraulic and they are located, or the mechanism is located here. We've got a manual override that comes through the frame on this left side here. Uh, that's got a little slot 
from underneath the rig you just push it off to the side put a hex head in and run run this unit if you lose power we also have our hydraulic actuator uh, for the trailer brakes located here uh, that way if you ever have a hydraulic overflow you're not ruining stuff in your basement we like to keep that separate for you thanks for taking time to walk through our 2016 summit 39 front bath floor plan um, I think you'll find we've put a lot of thought into these 13 floor plans that take a lot of the guesswork out of custom building. Um, give me a call sometime. Love to show you what we can do for you. Visit our website, horizonsrv.com, uh, to get some more information. Love to take care of you.